guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be using these natural stilettos in medium and they are a pre-colored tip. This is kind of um, what they came out before they had came out with their natural line, I believe. So this does have five different colors in it, which is great. So if you are somebody who likes to switch up the color of your nails, but they do have their new line coming out. I will be doing a video on those in the near future, I am just waiting for them to be sent out to me. It has been actually taking a little over, I think it's one, I'm going to say about like two weeks. Um, so you guys will be able to see a video on that and what I think of them. So stay tuned for that because those are the new ones. And the size are the links that I got them in. I got them in two different colors and I got them in a long square shape just because I do feel like that is my more popular shape right now. And I should have gotten them in the almond and things like that, but I didn't. So, all right, <laughs> so enough talking about that, but I'm going to go ahead and jump into today's video. If you guys are new, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel and join the gang. We are going to be prepping the nails right here. We are using a very, very... Um, fine sanding band and we are just going to go ahead and prep the nails. You guys will see me go in with another bit and that is just that cuticle bit right here. I thought I wanted to start out with that bit but I do feel like the method that I have going for me works a lot better. I just kind of wanted to be able to see all the cuticle coming off at once but I do feel like it comes off better when I already have them filed a little bit because I do feel like it kind of like loosens them up a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and dust them off and get this bond aid. And this is going to dehydrate the nails. Um, I want my nails to last. So with that being said, I want to go ahead and just put this on. I like to do two coats. I do find that doing two coats is the best for me. And then young nails, you guys. If you guys haven't tried this, this is going to make your nails last even longer. Um, I have never used the actual whole kit from a prey, but I would actually really like to try that out and see what that's about. But I do imagine that it is the same because it does have a dehydrator and primer with it. But I also like to do two coats of this. But I do want to mention, be careful with this bottle just because it is super, like, the product is like water. So I do feel like if you tip it over, which I do very often, um, it ends up, like, just being spilt and things like that. All right. Something that I would actually recommend is sizing your tips and filing them before you dehydrate and prime. Um, and then right here, you guys can see I'm etching the inside of the nail and then I am thinning out by the cuticle area. I just feel like this makes it lay a lot nicer and it looks more of a seamless blend when it is growing out. And this is what I mean by that is just going around the cuticle area. And that basically helps just like when... I don't know if you guys ever heard of people sealing the cuticle, but a lot of people use that term when they try to get it nice and flush around the cuticle. So um, this is basically my method to help kind of make it a little bit easier. Sometimes I will have to go in around the cuticle uh, if I do end up having some of the gel that like kind of comes out at the top. And I pre-sized off camera, but something that I would recommend is starting from one side of the nail and pushing down to the other. And then now I'm going to go ahead and get the sensitive gel from Apre. This is really great. It works really, really well for me. Um, I do have an allergy to the HEMA that's in a lot of the product, a lot of nail products in particular. So with this, I really actually enjoy using it. A lot of people said that they've they weren't sure if it was going to last as long. I haven't had a problem with them um, lasting and things like that. So, But just keep in mind with young nails, I do know that it does have some HEMA in it. So just keep that in mind if you are like me and are having the same issues and things like that. But I'm going to go ahead and put a good amount of that Extend Gel on there and I'm going to put it in the light. I do notice with these pre-colored tips, I don't get as much of a heat spike as I normally do if they are a clear tip. So definitely recommend curing them extra because you want them to adhere really, really well to the nails. So you guys could see I slid that one off, um, but it's because I did feel like it didn't have enough. So 
What I will do if there is not enough product on the nail, I will kind of scrape it across the nail bed without being too rough. Um, just because I do feel like it allows me to take all the product with me. If I were to completely just lift it up, then it's just going to be a big old mess. I'm going to have to wipe it down in like re-dehydrate and all that. And that is not something I want to do. So, um, because you don't want the, the gel to be all up in your cuticle and things like that. So this light that I do have right here, everyone always asks me where I got this light from, or I get this light. Um, I got this light from Montage Nail Supply. Unfortunately, they only have it in store. They don't have it online. When I first got it, it was only like $6, but the price has gone up. Of course, you guys know how much everything has gone up. So I believe that it is now $17, but even still, I feel like that is a very fair price. But I love this light. The battery actually stays charged on this thing for a long time. Like, since I've had it, I think I've only had to charge it maybe once or maybe, maybe, maybe twice. But I love that because, as you guys know, as I'm not a fan of having to keep on, like, charging and stuff, I do feel like my Kiara Sky lamp, I do feel like I had to charge that a lot more. So usually after every day that I use the QR Sky lamp, I do end up having to charge it. Um, but that's when I'm working with clients. If I am just doing it on a single person, then my lamp will be able to go like four times. So just keep that in mind. I do like to put a cure in the lamp um, after I have them all down. I like to put them into the lamp for 60 seconds. But I do feel like with this one I did end up doing 60 seconds twice just because I really wanted them to adhere and make sure that there was no uncured gel underneath these nails just because it, since they do have some of that color to them. I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Adoro files. Um, these are pretty good files. I have gotten these in the past. I ran out of my other ones that I got from Montage so I have just been using these and these will do. I do feel like they do dole down a little bit faster than my montage ones, which I was happy because my montage ones, they do last me. But the only thing with that is I do feel like, I mean, I have to throw them away at every client anyway, so it doesn't, I don't know, that kind of doesn't really matter to me. But if you guys are using the montage files on just yourself, I do highly recommend them just because they will last you a really long time. And you won't end up having to like get the whole pack of them, especially due to how long that they last you. So if you guys are purchasing online, just keep that in mind. But if you are using it on more than one people, definitely throw them away after every use. But you guys see how crazy I hold my hands when I am filing on myself. A lot of people ask me how I do my own nails. And I just want to be able to jump on here and show you. So I do want to do some abstract nails. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with the white. The white that I am using is from Nail Central. And you guys could just see how pigmented I I love this. And I feel like it self-levels and smooths out. So there is no bulky things going on, which I appreciate. Um, if you guys do want a review on this or an unboxing, definitely make sure to check out my videos before because I do have a video of my experience of opening it up and things like that. I really really love this product um, and yeah so make sure to check that out and see what I think of the other things because I do I did end up getting some tips, some um, top coats and the black and white gel. So I am going to be using Opulence Nail Co. Nail Art Brush and I am just going to go ahead and align. I am doing a bit of a freestyle with this. I did have an inspo picture but I cannot find the inspo picture for the life of me but abstract was the main thing that I wanted to do right here. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys kind of figure out what I am doing as I go because when I was creating the set, I was just kind of going back and forth. And you guys will be able to see kind of how I was able to do some of this art. Um, I do feel like sometimes when you are working on abstract art, I do feel like you have to play around with it a little bit. But something I do want to mention is 
when I did just the white alone, I'm looking back at the videos and I'm like, oh my gosh, I could have totally left it white and it still looks so good. So honestly, you guys, even if you wanted to stop with the white, you would be able to do so and it looks so cute. But of course, I wanted more abstract and I wanted to play around with it a little bit more because I'm kind of new to stepping into that. So let me know what you guys think. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch. And if I do feel like I need to chime in, of course, I will do so. Alright you guys, now it is time to pop that into the light for 60 seconds. I do, with my whites that are super, super pigmented, I do like to put them into the light a little bit longer. Some people will only do 30 seconds, but I definitely recommend going in for the 60 seconds. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and take that same liner brush and I cleaned it. And now I'm just going to go ahead and go and make a thin line. Some of the lines I was like debating, I was going back and forth of where I should do thin line um, or do like more of a heavier line. So you guys will see me playing around with that quite a bit because honestly I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do and what looked good. So playing around with it honestly like I feel like it made me found my happy place with these nails especially when it came to the green color that I am going to be adding on and I know you guys might be like what green um but it was something that I did see like color combos together on a shirt and I did really really like it so of course I wanted to go ahead and do something similar. I am going to go ahead and get my cleanup slash 3D art brush and I'm just going to go ahead and kind of thin out that line and get it to how I like it and if I need to go in and touch up with the liner brush of course I'm going to go ahead and do so. And I like to pull away um, do, because I do feel like it creates thinner lines that way. So um, sometimes you'll see me starting in the center or if I don't start from one end and don't finish in one brush stroke, I will start, I will end up going out from the center of the nail if I do feel like that's easier. All right, you guys, now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that green. All the colors will be listed down below if you guys are interested in these colors. The black that I did use was also from Nail Central, and the green was from Colorland Gels. And for this green, I did not want it to end up being nice and smooth lines. I wanted to go in and kind of create some, some waves to it. So you guys could see me doing that here and thickening up the line in some cases with the other gels.
And something that I also want to kind of let you guys know is that I do like to do my work in layers just because I do feel like it allows me to like once I like a certain piece of the art that I do I will go ahead and cure that and then start working on a different section because you guys could see my fingers are rested all over the place and I'm really afraid of like messing up the art that I worked so hard on creating so of course I want to make sure I cure every color in between. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my dotting tool and you guys can see I created a whole bunch of little dots. I went back and actually added some thicker dots in some cases just because I felt like it was more abstract and I feel like the look of it looked really, really cool. So now I'm going to go ahead and go in and after I got done curing all those little dots and making those little stars, I'm going to go ahead and go in with Nail Central Matte Top Coat. And I'm actually really impressed with this top coat, you guys. If you guys haven't tried this, make sure to check out the video. You guys will be able to see what it looks like on white and black. But this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. If you guys haven't already, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys really like this video in particular on how to do your own nails, let me know down in the comments, and I'll do more videos like this. Alright, you guys, have a great day. Bye!